Facebook. Love it or hate it, it's an online global phenomenon. One in seven people worldwide now has a Facebook account. That's over a billion people. To put that into context, that's the same population as the economically developed world. It just so happened to be the same people who have regular access to online resources such as Facebook. That means that any one of those people could potentially see your information if you don't restrict who can see your content. You see, when you create a Facebook account, Facebook neither makes it completely secure or unsecure. It kind of puts you in the middle. Now, although that's okay for most users, why should that be a problem for you? Well, as a student of the University of East Anglia, you sign up to our policies and guidelines. And if you're studying to be a healthcare professional, you also have a code of conduct to follow. And that includes everything you do, including the content you post on Facebook. So by following some easy steps in this video, you'll be able to secure your account, restrict who can view your content, and keep everybody happy. And all you have to worry about is not posting anything stupid. I'm going to show you some really simple steps now on how you can restrict who can see your content on Facebook. Now it's worth bearing in mind that these settings are dependent on restricting the content to the people in your friends list. So the thing you might want to do first is actually review who's in your friends list and think about whether you want them to see your content or not. So this is a profile page and we can see on the right hand side here that we've put a status update with a link to a website. And when we do this, there's a little icon that appears and it's set as a globe and this means that it's set to um, the public. So anyone in the public who's got a Facebook account can actually search for this profile and look at the content on here. So what we can actually do is we can click on the icon and we can change it to friends. Okay, And now this post is only available to the people in my friends list. Now for those of you who've had a Facebook account open for some time, you can imagine it would be a very laborious task going through all of your posts and changing this by clicking on all the icons and restrict them to your friends. So Facebook has come up with a couple of ways in which we can kind of mass prune all of these options. So to do this we need to go up to the top right hand corner and to click on the padlock tab which is going to open our security settings and our privacy shortcut. We've got three drop down options. We're going to click on the first option and we've got three further drop down options. And we want to make sure that this first one, who can see my future posts, is set to friends. Again, you can change it. And we're going to set it to friends. And this means that any future content that we post on Facebook will automatically be set to our friends. And it's then up to us whether we want to open up that content to the general public or not. So that's our future posts covered. But what about the past content? And like I said before, if you've had a Facebook account open for quite a while, that's a lot of sifting through. And we can actually change who can see our past content as well. To do that, we need to go down to the bottom of this section to see more settings. And we're going to click on this. It's going to bring up our privacy settings page. And we are interested in the third option down, which is limiting the audience of, for the posts you've shared with friends or the public. And we're going to limit our past posts. And what this is going to do is it's going to automatically change all of our past posts. So it's limiting it to our friends list only. And so we just click on that. It'll ask us if we want to proceed because it's going to do all of this for us. And we want to confirm that. And now that all of our content we've posted in the past and in the future will now be limited to your friends list. And that's about it really. That's two of the easiest ways in which you can restrict who can see your content. I would advise you to go through all of the settings in the general account settings and the security settings and the privacy settings as well and restrict that content down 
as as much as you want to.